Between February and June 2018, I followed the Catch to 5K program that aims to get you from nothing to running for 30 minutes three times a week. Now I made 30 minutes, but I didn't make 5K. So on the first anniversary of those videos in 2019, I've got myself a new challenge to vlog my way to 5K. Right, so now it is week three of my second season of Couch to 5K, uh, where I am attempting to vlog my way finally to 5K, as I've just been saying. And the yeah, there's nothing complicated about this. This isn't like the Couch to 5K where you do a five minute or an eight minute and then you've got a bit of walking and a bit of run. This is simply trying to increase by one minute on each run. So. I did 26 minutes on the last run, and I really felt like I'd turned a corner actually, because it, um, it uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't want to use the word easier, but it just felt, felt like I, I got through perhaps the toxic start of the run. It felt kind of better, like maybe I, I had turned that corner and, and was getting back to where I should be. I don't know, it's difficult. It'll be interesting to see how I get on with my latest run, because now I'm going to go up a minute again, and this time up to 27 minutes. So I still haven't made it back to where I was at the end of Catch to 5K, but that is the goal to get to that and then exceed it. So let's see how I get on. Today's run, 27 minutes. I'll see you on the other side. <sighs> right, that is the first run of week three is that right complete anyway whatever run it is and I managed to do 27 minutes so and at the end I thought I could carry on so uh, but I, I'm, I'm not I'm gonna stick to my my plan to increase by one minute uh, a run and uh, see where it takes me so I haven't I haven't run 27 minutes since well since June 2018 when I did a couple of runs I was trying to think how many runs I did after I finished Couch to 5K. Um, probably, I don't know, five or six before I then went on holiday and then uh, never quite got back to 30 minutes when I got back. And um, yeah, so during those runs, obviously I went through 27 minutes and that was the last time I did that kind of distance. So that's good. I'm three minutes away from getting back, which is, which is good. I have to say that... <clears throat> I'd almost sort of forgotten this. When I was doing Couch to 5K, um, and I was about to go out on a run, or I was, you know, getting ready to go for a run, I'd be really excited. And I think I might have commented on the first series of videos that I was quite surprised about that. that I thought, it, you know, I, I thought it would be a chore that I'd have to put myself through. But I quickly discovered that it's actually really good fun. And I'd uh, sort of forgotten that, I suppose. I mean, I haven't not enjoyed going out for the runs, but... I didn't really get that sort of, I don't know, that sort of excited feeling that, oh, I'm gonna go for a run, which sounds a bit weird. And perhaps I need to get out more. Perhaps it's just a reflection on my dull life. But um, uh, yeah, I, I kind of felt that today. I was gonna go for a run, I thought, God, I'm going for a run. Brilliant. Uh, I was really, really excited about it. So anyway, I've been out and uh, say it was, it was okay. I haven't looked at the split times or anything. I looked at the time for after 1K and that was just over seven minutes actually, so probably one of my slowest. Um, but I, I do feel I'm gonna need to pace myself and just stick to that kind of regular pace. But I'm already starting to think about what I, what I need to do to, uh, after I actually get to the 5K and I get to the uh, 35 or 40 minutes, whatever it's going to be. And I've got some ideas of, of some challenges to set myself. And I think that's what I need to do is to set myself challenges over the course of uh, the weeks as I go by. I'm gonna stop just for a moment because I'm walking through a golf course and there's some people putting. So uh, bear with. some more people but it's a nice day today so people are out all over somebody's tearing off there oh that was a grass cutter yeah is there anybody else there yeah 
Oh, that was embarrassing. Oh no, I think he's got more balls. Oh, he's let me go. Hang on. Right, I'm through the other side of the golf course now. And uh, while uh, I turned the phone off, uh, I had a look at my split times. So I thought it'd be quite interesting to have a look at those. And the total distance has gone up to 3.9 kilometers. So I should break 4K on the next run. Uh, and the split times were all within about three seconds of each other. So I'm keeping quite a regular pace. Uh, and, I think, and the average was six minutes, 56. Uh, so yeah, so keep keeping a pretty good split time, pretty average kind of uh, uh, pace which I think is good, which is helping me. I'm getting into a pace and obviously I'm comfortable with that. It's slow, yes, but uh, yeah, there we go. That's brilliant. So quite pleased about that. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I'll uh, sign off there and I will get ready for the next run, which will be 28 minutes. So see you for that one. Hello. <laughs> now, I don't normally record a sequence before I go for a run. I'm on my warm up now, but I thought I would. I thought I'd record one while I'm getting ready to go on a run. You know, shake it up a little. <laughs> Just call me a rebel. And um, uh, yeah, but I don't want to talk for long because uh, otherwise the warm up's not going to go very well. But today I'm trying to go 28 minutes. That's what I'm heading for. And it's been a bit warmer today. I mean, the weather forecast has said it was gonna get colder. Hey, what do they know? Um, but I've got a, a thermometer by my back door. Admittedly, that is a real sun trap there and it gets really quite much warmer than it, it is sort of away from there. And uh, that says it's 30 degrees, which is bonkers for April. But they say that is a, a um, you know, a tight corner where it really traps the sun. So it's not anywhere near that uh, out and about. Uh, my phone says it's 12, but it definitely feels a bit warmer than that. Um, am I getting my excuses in early? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Anyway, let's get on with the run. Carry on my warm up. 28 minutes, I hope. See you on the other side. Right. Whew. I'm at the other side and I did it, 28 minutes. It was quite hard going, if I'm being honest. But um, yeah, what am I? Some sort of wimp. <laughs> oh, you're a man of mouse. Squeak. Uh, yeah, so I did, I did 28 minutes. That's good. I looked at the split times again and yeah, very similar. I did uh, 6.47 for the first kilometer and then the rest were round about seven minutes just under. So, get a quick bit of arithmetic and you'd be right I have hit 4k I hit it just about 10 15 seconds before the end I hit 4k so that's brilliant I'm on target for my 5k in about another well seven minutes or so so when I get to about minute 35 as I've been saying all along so I don't want to repeat myself but there we are so I'm quite pleased about that uh, I'm, I'm on target which is great news so there's not really much I can say in uh, these these are slightly different from the characters of 5k because all I'm doing is adding a minute so there isn't a lot uh, that I can say so I'll have to try and think of something a bit more interesting to say in the next video otherwise um, it's pointless doing them really but uh, anyway thank you for your company thank you for watching I'll try and make the next video a little bit more interesting and uh, yeah next week I should get up I do 29 minutes and then 30 minutes and I should therefore be back to where I was really I should have got back to the beginning and then after that is to try and increase the time finally after a year so anyway thanks very much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, despite the fact that this has been very dull and I will see you next week all being well thanks for watching mm -hmm.